G'day everybody, Johan here from Eurocool. Today we're going to explain a little bit how the EchoStar from Bitzer works. I'm going to go through a couple of parameters. We're going to see the unit in action. Um, and then we'll also look at a few features. Bitzer has definitely taken the contractor uh, time into consideration when they did this design. It's very easy to take apart and to work on the, the unit, especially the programming. Uh, I will show you um, how to do it on the Bitzer Best software. So uh, give me a couple of minutes, let me get set up and I'll explain to you. Okay guys, here we are with uh, the Echo Star unit. So I'm just going to go and uh, we'll go through the unit and I'll explain to you exactly um, what we're going to see. So this is the Echo Star unit. It comes in the Echo Star configuration and also the Echo Light configuration. So the Echo Star means that this unit has got a, a very speed um, compressor on it and also it's got the built-in variable speed condenser fans it's got two condenser fans in this specific model on the what's nice about this unit is is this unit you can actually mount on a wall because it is top discharge uh, on the hot air on the side of the unit We've got this very convenient electric box that opens with a panel key. This panel key will be supplied loose in the, the box. It's very easy to open obviously with a panel key. And then also on the side here where you've got your suction and your liquid line um, pipes that is very easily accessible on the outside. So this unit has also got a liquid receiver side glass and a moisture indicator. So just by standing on the side of the unit without doing anything, you can actually view um, your refrigerant levels and also your moisture levels inside the, the unit. If we open the electric box, we will see we have a built-in controller. Now this is basically the brain of the system, so we will control all the parameters within our system with this controller and basically we don't need any additional electrical components as this unit is complete with all electrical components. We get a little spare parts with it to insulate your electrical wiring I will show you exactly how to program this controller it's very straightforward it's already factory defaulted so it makes the programming very very easy so let's look a little bit further on the outside of the unit so at first glance you would look at this unit and you would say but now I'm gonna need a lot of screws to to actually access the the unit well you don't need to all you need is a five millimeter hex nut this you would undo and you can access the the panel let me quickly undo the panel and then I'll come back to you okay guys so now we're back we have loosened the five millimeter hex nut and to undo this panel is actually very easy all you have to do is you pick it up and it comes straight off let me just put this on the side here and basically we have a loose panel now we can access our condenser for servicing, cleaning the condenser, it's all easy accessible. And at the bottom here we have 
our compressor so these panels are also very easy to take off all we do is, is we lift them up and we actually take them off the system this panel here we can just lift up and there we have our compressor with a built-in very speed drive this drive over here is suction cooled so we we don't need additional fans and the performance of the drive is much better let me just take all these panels off quickly okay on the left hand side of the unit as we look at it we have our discharge valves this valve over here we have pressure transmitters we have our oil failure switch we have our liquid line filter dryer and at the back there we that green tank is our liquid receiver as you can see this unit is very compact and very well built just something to remember is a fitting like this this is quarter NPT to quarter flare you would need a fitting like this to access um, the system so that you can charge it up with refrigerant so very important don't remember to or don't forget to actually get an additional fitting like that This model is the 4TE9F 